Hey YouTube, it's Jamie Nice here with another video, and I'm doing a Knife Champions 2013 prediction simulation video, and this is the number one contender um, tag team turmoil match: Crime Time Players versus the Usos versus Tons of Funk versus the Real Americans versus 3MB, and this is sort of like it: the championship scramble. It, and this was the only way I could get one member from each because there is no 10 man tag or whatever. And this is the only way to make it fair. I was going to do a fatal four way and leave out Heath Slater, but I thought I would make it fair for all the teams to get a chance in simulation. And I've got it with um, Botus Clay and Jay Uso starting it out first because I don't have Darren Young's song and. Uh, Heath Slater's new song, and I didn't want to do it if they're, if they're all going to come out in a random order. But let's get this started after I explain myself now. Hopefully in 2K14, or WWE 2K14, there'll be some different um, match types. That, that'll be more than just eight players, or six players, I mean. But, uh, yeah. Guess just watch the entrances, and it's ten minutes, so... This is, might be a longer simulation video, but I wanted to make it fair for each of the teams. And the tag team turmoil is sort of similar to the championship scramble. And um, it, it has the um, AWA belt because I couldn't really think of one to pick. But uh, yeah, Bro Display is coming out first. I just picked a random one, the AWA, because you had to pick the belt. This is sort of one of the more cool, real, like, entrances, sort of like Chris Benoit's. Ah! Where's the Funkadactyls? What the heck? When I had Naomi come out with Gross Play's entrance, she came out with the Funkadactyls. Where are the Funkadactyls at? I'm let this entrance go a little longer than I should because I like the fireworks at the end. I'll skip it there. Comes Jay Uso. This guy's pretty fast at his entrance, so. It's fine now, it's sort of sped up I guess. Cause Rose Place took forever and this dude's already in the ring now almost over. But uh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and skip it here. Cause this match is ten minutes long. But uh yeah. Brodus Clay and Jay Uso starting it out. Um, this seems like it'll be a good match. I don't know when the last tag team turmoil match was. I know they used to do them a lot during the Attitude Era. And at the eight, when it's eight minutes on the clock, another one will come out. I only put those two at the order, first and second, but the rest are random. And, um, yeah, I know this one on Armageddon in 1999, and, um, can't really think of any other ones. I think Armageddon in 2003, um, but, uh, yeah, um, I think 
that in this match, it's, it's, uh, Real Americans and, um, with Antonio Cesaro and Jack Swagger versus Tons of Funk with Brutus Clay and, um, Tensai, Sweet Tea, uh, primetime players with Darren Young and Titus O'Neil, the Usos with Jimmy and Jay Uso, and 3 and B, I don't know which two are going to be in the match. I think it's Heath Slater and Drew McIntyre, I'm not for sure, but I went ahead and put Drew McIntyre, or Heath Slater in the match. And, um, yeah, about 30 seconds, someone else is going to come out, but this has the potential to be a good match, and, um, this is the kickoff match, so, I'm thinking this, this is going to take up most of the kickoff if, if it's going to be a good match, and if not, they're probably going to, um, just eliminate each other pretty quick because the kickoff is like 30 minutes and 5. Four, three, two, one. Who's gonna come out? Darren Young. All right, Darren Young's in the match. And um, yeah. Um, I don't really know. I know that three and B is not gonna win. I don't think Tons of Funk is gonna win, and it's a toss-up between the Usos, who've been doing really good recently, putting it all on this. Given that they're all every time they're on, I'm really starting to like the Usos now. Uh, Primetime players, uh, they have a chance because they've won. He, he's, since the Darren Young has said that he was gay, he and Titus O'Neil like haven't lost the match yet. So that makes me think that they have a chance. And Cesaro and Jack Swagger, I just hope they would win because Cesaro is just an awesome wrestler and he needs he needs some gold around his waist. But uh. I don't really know who I'm gonna. My last predict or my prediction will be. I'm trying to think who should. I'm thinking about it right now. Um, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I think that primetime players are gonna win the um, turmoil match. I don't know. If, I, I don't think that they're gonna win the titles, but they're they're probably gonna win the turmoil match and. Um, yeah, I would like to see Cesaro and Swagger win, but I don't think they're going to win. And I think they're going to be probably splitting up soon. And 3MB, there's no way they're going to win. Tons of funk, I doubt it, they're going to win. So, yeah, this is going to... Tons of wrestlers in this match. And there's 9, 8, 7, 6, 5... Four, three, two, one. Who's number four? Antonio Cesaro with the Real Americans. He is just an amazing wrestler. And um, yeah. Um. Oh, Darren Young. Oh, Boris Clay's going for two. Oh, he kicks out. Alright, see. Oh, Darren Young's going for a pinfall. Oh, no. Antonio Cesaro kicks out. But I'm going to go ahead and say that the primetime players are going to get the win. Oh, Boris Clay gets the championship. He has got he has to survive for five more minutes and not let anyone else get a pinfall. And he'll win the tag team turmoil match, I guess. I don't know. It, it, it's the only way I could get it to work with all five people, or at least a member. Oh my god, that was an awesome move. And I couldn't really get it all. Oh, he's going for another one. Oh, he missed that one. And this is the only way I could really get all of them in the match. So, um, yeah. Oh. Dan Young gets a pinfall. But. Um, I'm looking forward to this match, I'm going to say that. Not the biggest fan of anyone in here but the Usos and Cesaro, but I wouldn't mind to see it, and I, I think it'll be an entertaining match if it goes through well, but if it's going to be fast eliminations, it's probably not going to be that good of a match. But, uh, yeah, 
10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and here Slater comes out now, the last man, and they, I don't think they announced who's going to be the first team to enter, the first two teams to enter the tw turmoil, but if it goes by the pitcher, it's going to be tons of funk, or, the Real Americans and tons of funk starting it out, and then after that, whoever wins is going to face the primetime players, after that, whoever wins is going to face the Usos, and after that, whoever wins is going to face 3MB. Oh, Cesaro hits the neutralizer. Is he going to get the pinfall? One, two, and he Slater breaks it up. And, yeah. Um, I guess let's watch the simulation, but I'm predicting Darren Young and Titus O'Neil, the primetime players, to win. Two, three. He Slater picks up a pinfall out of nowhere. Did not expect that. Hopefully that does not happen. I think the 3MB is just a joke. But we'll have to see what happens. There's three minutes left in the match. Who's going to be the AWA champion? Just kidding. But that's a, Oh, the Uso with the, the Samoan drop. Jay Uso with the Samoan drop. But, um... Oh, two, three. Cesaro picks up the the win. Is he's gonna? Is his team gonna win the turmoil? One, two. Oh, he Slayer almost got it back. Oh, rope break. Oh, he Slayer busted Brodus Clay open. With that cool move. One, two. Darren Young almost got the win. Er, got a pinfall. Right now, I'm, I'm pretty sure Antonio Cesaro is winning right now. He's got a chair. Oh, he had a chair and he's going back inside. Oh, he went back out. Oh, he's going over. Is 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 he Slater going to tap? Oh, it breaks the hole. Cesaro is pretty much just walking away. He's got the pinfall right now. Oh, he's gonna make. Oh, Darren Young almost made. Yeah. He Slater tap again. Punishment inflicted here, and he's out of the ring again. Sixty seconds remain. What's gonna happen? Lifted and now placed upside down, tied up in the turnbuckle there. Oh man! Just a minute left. Who's gonna win this? What is Cesaro doing? Glitch or something? He's getting in and getting out and getting in and getting out. And Jey Uso is super groggy. Oh, oh, he dropped him on his head. It's 30 seconds. Is anyone going to get a pinfall? Oh, Darren Young is busted open. He Slater, one, two, three. He Slater picks up a victory or pinfall. One, two, three. Cesaro picks up a win six seconds later. 10 seconds left. Who's going to win? The ref just raised his hand. One. Jey Uso is groggy for some reason for like a minute. Oh, Cesaro wins the AWA championship. Just kidding, but he was my prediction. Wins the simulation. We'll have to find out what happens Sunday. But, uh, yeah, let's see him celebrate that NWA or AWA title win. It's probably coming up soon. Man, what a match. The only person to not score a win was Jay Uso. Cesaro had, like, three. Funk, or Bros Clay had, like, one. I think Darren Young had one, and he Slater had, like, two. Look at Cesaro with the AWA Championship. 
Well, sorry I had to do a championship scramble, but that's the only way I can make it fair for all the teams. But, uh, yeah, go back and watch the other ones. No other matches have been announced. And that's about it. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.